Am I the asshole? For refusing to attend my brother's wedding because of the dress code? My brother is getting married in a few months and his future wife recently asked me to be a part of her bridal party. I was thrilled and excited to be included, but then she informed me that the dress code for the bridal party was gender specific, with women expected to wear dresses and men expected to wear suits. As someone who identifies as non-binary and is more masculine presenting, I am uncomfortable with conforming to a gender binary that doesn't accurately represent me. I brought this up with my brother and his fiancé, but they insisted that they wanted all their guests to adhere to the dress code, regardless of how it made them feel. I ultimately decided that I did not want to attend the wedding, as I did not feel comfortable being pressured to conform to a gender binary that doesn't accurately represent me. My brother and his fiancé are now upset with me, accusing me of being difficult and not willing to compromise. After a fight with them, I found out they went behind my back and involved my mom. She called me yesterday and told me I can put aside my identity for one day to make the day special for my little brother. I now feel bad and didn't realize something as small as the clothes I feel comfortable wearing would cause a rift within my family. So am I the asshole? For refusing to go to the wedding? Even as a normal guest, being told as a woman I couldn't wear trousers I refused to go. How rude. Not the asshole put your identity aside for one day clearly your mom isn't as supportive as she seems with who you are. I fail to see how a person in pants is that shocking after 1902. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Dress codes are things like cocktail, black tie or semi-formal. They're not people we decide our men must wear pants and people we decide our women must wear dresses. Your brother and his fiancée are being queerphobic and it's fine to absent yourself from such an event. Mom's comment about putting aside your identity for one day is awful. I'm so sorry. Perhaps you could ask her when she was last expected to abandon who she is for a day. Not the asshole. I wonder how they would feel if you were getting married and told all your cisgender guests to put aside their identity for one day. Would your brother wear a dress because you asked him to? Info is there a dress code for the bridal party or for all guests? I.e. can you go as a guest and wear a suit? Maybe a kilt? Won't work for the bridal party unless Future Sil is willing to work with you. As a butch lesbian I wear my kilt and full regalia to heterocentric formal events. I still get to be me and no one is freaked out by pants. Most of the time, people love my kilt and want to talk about it. I usually wear a collarless shirt and my fly or the full Prince Charlie coat with a shirt with ruffles. People can see feminine but it's all cultural correct and I get to feel like me and not me in drag. No hate. No one gives a fuck about your opinion on trans people. That's not what OP asked. You're not the main character, no one asked. Expect a permanent ban and no mod to take you seriously see lioning in mod mail. Put aside my identity for one day. Uh, no. Not the asshole. It is fine for them to dictate the formality of the wedding. It is not fine for them to dictate your preferred gender expression. A suit that is on the same level of formality as suits others are wearing should be considered just fine. As a fellow queer human I'm saying not the asshole. I don't feel like the responses you're getting are from people who actually understand the nuance here. Their policy is ridiculous and I'm assuming they made it purposefully exclusionary towards you. Because otherwise why not say black tie or formal and let everyone do their own thing? F them. Just politely decline. Not the asshole. It is their wedding. They control their guest list, and even if it's obnoxious, they can control the wedding party's dress code. But you know and understand the flip side to that control. Every single wedding guest has the right to decline to participate in the wedding, especially if the conditions for their participating are onerous. You're well within your rights to decline. Sadly, these people do not respect you. Would they ask a vegan to eat animal products because that's what they want on their wedding day? 
These wedding type posts are so aggravating why do people getting married feel like they can disrespect people and get away with it? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. They can't put aside the dress code but you are better put aside your personality? Tell your mom and your brother they can contact you again if they want to apologize. If they don't want to do that, you know they don't want you in their life. Told me I can put aside my identity for one day. Lol no. They can get over themselves for one day. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Having a gender dress code is super tacky. Not the asshole, I get a dress code for a wedding but there's a difference between we want you to wear this style and we want you to act like you're another gender. If you can't wear the outfit of your choice, don't go. Up to you perhaps happen to be the only GNC or otherwise non-cis non-straight person the bride and groom know? This dress code seems targeted at you specifically, especially in light of the not willing to compromise for your brother's special day bullshit. Send as nice of a gift as you feel like, but you're respecting their stated wishes by not attending out of dress code. Not the asshole. Told me I can put aside my identity for one day. They honestly see your identity, who you are, as an inconvenience that can be our shoved aside for a day. Like come to this event but not as yourself? Fucking gross. Not the asshole. You don't have to go if none of them are going to accept you. But also, you could go and crash the party, wearing whatever you want. Info what are you wanting to wear? Not the asshole. I'm a cis female and wouldn't attend a wedding if the dress code insisted women wear dresses. They're entitled to a dress code I guess, but like with child-free weddings, you don't get to be mad when people decline to go to your wedding because of it. Also your mom sucks for her response as well. Not the asshole, your decision to not go is a valid attempt at separating yourself from potential conflict and it's not your fault that they failed to see it that way. Not the asshole it's not just putting your identity to one side for the day, it's permanent, they will keep those photos forever and display them in multiple locations for you to keep seeing and keep feeling uncomfortable about and then the next major event they will feel like you can wear a dress again because you did last time. Personally I'd have just turned up wearing what I wanted as long as it was smart to fit the dress code. Erta. Nada. Don't put yourself aside for anyone. Been there, done that. 010 do not recommend. Not the asshole I've read ops comments given the fact that you've been on testosterone for two years it seems like they have been aware of your identity for a while so I'd cry they didn't ask you to be a part of the groom's party if they didn't want an issue in the first place, so it seems odd that they thought this would go any other way. I'm guessing you don't wear dresses or skirts at all however if you do from time to time then I see their issue with it. Nada. Don't put yourself aside. Not the asshole, they are the ones who aren't compromising, let them have their weird gender party without you.